What's going on everybody? Survival Islander is back again with another video. Uh, don't forget to follow our Twitch and Discord will be in the description. Don't forget to join that. So in this video, um, when I was making my uh, one game, uh, I got stuck when I was trying to script a, um, a jump scare system where you don't just see an image, it's actually just an animation. So, well, like in, in games, for example, like the Mimic, when you would die, uh, the, when the whatever creature thing, gra that lady grabbed you, you would see, it would do some animation in your face, grab you, shake its head, something. My point is that's what I'm going to show you of what we're going to do and provide a template in the description of this video for you to use for yourself because uh, when I went to find videos of it on YouTube myself, I did not find what I was looking for. I did find one, but this guy did not want to make it so when something walked at you and then you touched it, it happened. Actually, he made it only click. People were asking for the touch and he would not give an answer. So I am here to give that answer. So, and actually this is the model that he used and I shall now provide it, but um, it will be touch compatible. So I'll just demonstrate before I explain. Okay, so here is what the template scarer would be. So here is the creature. If I touch it, it plays the animation. The animation can be edited and you can do whatever you want. We'll get into that here in a moment. So now it is no longer of click. Now it just touches. And actually, as he said, it was kind of simple. Okay, so the script that needed to be edited was only one. That would be the script that you use to click on. And that I have set here in you can put it every, anywhere you want within your model or brick that you want to have touched. But it, it, And yes, some people ask for sound. Do not worry, I have already provided that. If you want to edit said sound, you just want to go down here to its head. And you can have, you can, uh, no, sorry, it's not inside the, the scare template. It's actually inside of uh, Jump Scare Dummy, which is inside of the room, which I'll also show here in a second. So underneath Jump Scare Dummy, do not change these names. Just leave them as is. They don't need to be changed. You know, you can, you know, if you want to change something, just change your monster's name or whatever it is. That doesn't matter. Go down here to its head, which is where in the module script its lo uh, directory is located. This is the sound. Just take any sound that you want. Um, if you have a sound already in your own inventory that you have uploaded yourself and paid for, just take its ID and put it here. If you want to mess with it, its pitch, meaning you want to make it sound like somebody's some high pitch scream or whatever, so it sounds really fast, like more sped up, do this, slower, decrease it. One is average, so normal. Uh, but yeah, just uh, and don't don't you don't change this. Just leave this as is. The name. Unless you know what you're doing. So just change your ID to whatever sound you want. Animations are the same thing. You can edit your animation. Make sure that you have the plugin available, which is not that hard to do. It's just animation editor. Can't miss it. Anima literally called animation editor. I already have loaded things, so whatever. Do your animation. I'm not even gonna pretend to know what I'm what what I really want. I'm just I'm just doing making it look like it's somewhat waving. So and then if I had that on loop, which would I would always be on loop, it would just when the jump scare happened, you would just see this in your face. So after you do this, you make your animation. You would save it to new, call it whatever you want. I'll just call it that. Do not want to go there. Get out of view, go to my template. I now have it in animation saves. What you do next is then you just go to save to Roblox. Name it whatever you want, and to actually save it, you need to write a description. Just put a single letter in there, it doesn't matter. Save it. I didn't want to do it. Anyways, so after you've done that, you go into Roblox. 
under your creations tab, you see it at the top, and on your left hand side, you're going to see your animations. You will open up the animation that you have made, whatever you've called it, and in the web URL, where, you know, this, where, where it says it's at, you're going to see some numbers up there. You would highlight those numbers, and then you will go over into the replicated storage. Under all this, you're going to see an animation. Just replace its ID. Now, you cannot take somebody else's animation from something else. The way Roblox has animation set up, and this was actually due to uh, people doing very not-so-great things, they made it so animations could only be run by the person who owns it. So, for example, Roblox owns, an, uh, like for running animations, basic player animations can be do whatever. They're, they're, they're public. But as far as an animation, like you can't use mine. If you tried to use the ID that I have right here, it would just look like it's doing nothing. It would just, it would just move like this. this is, you would just seem motionless in your face and then you would die. My animation runs because I own it. So you have to make an animation, save it, take its ID that you now have, and post it into here. Then it'll run. You have to actually make and own the animation. That is why whenever you see something like this and you see videos saying, why is it not working? Why is it motionless? That is why. You need to be the one to own it. So yes, it's a little bit of work, but it can be done. It's not that hard. <laughs> didn't really take me long to do what I did. I just kind of made it look like you grabbed you. So think of it as a flip book. Just, just do a flip book. Mess with the times and see what works for you. See what how fast you want it, how slow you want it, whatever. Anyway, that's that. That is how you get your animations to work. The sound does not need to be messed with. And everything else is simple. So what's going to happen is you will get a file and I'll load it in here real quick and show you what you got to do. So once you download my template, it's plain and simple. Instructions are obvious. You will get, it'll tell you where each folder is. Take the stuff inside the folder that I've had. So the stuff that was in replicated storage, which was my modules I put here, the camera, started and everything sorry the change the camera and the workspace stuff uh, recommended that um, if you have your game pitch black dark uh, recommended that you add a light there is a light in here you can change it I have jump scare camera there's a light within the box you can mess with it change its color uh, you can you can delete it if you want doesn't really matter but I have that because my games are dark so you want to be able to see the jump scare in a pitch black area you would not see it because of it's so dark in the game the lighting it's dark you would see just black when the jump scare happens so that's just if you have a dark game so just follow the with instructions everything will be plain and simple make your own animation make your own model this doesn't even matter. You don't even need this. I'm just providing this because of the fact that of its AI. So if you want it to follow a path, meaning it can walk, if you say you have a maze system, it'll follow the maze. Now, you have, I have given you two options. If you don't like the first one, you test it and you don't like how it works. Just do this. Just disable both of these. You don't need them. It even has the ability to use a weapon. So just give it a gun, it could use that, a sword, a knife, something. It'll use it. And then just reactivate this one, and there's your second option. This if you don't like the first one. They both are capable with understanding a path. They're smart. And that's really all there is to it. So just take, if you want to change it, just copy and paste all the scripts. Now these are R15, they will not work in R6. Unless you know what you're doing, mess with it, okay? And if you just want to put this in a regular part, just copy the script and post it in a part. And when somebody touches it, it happens. So this is the script you want to mess with under a lower torso. And there you go. That is our tutorial. If you've got any questions, please post them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer. And give us a like and a sub. And we will see you all again in our next post of videos.